Alright, this is how you change a fuel filter on a 2008 Cub Cadet LT1050 50 inch motor deck, 23 horsepower, 2 cylinder color motor. Alright, you need two vice grips to go like this. Take one, clamp one on one fuel line. This is how I'm going to put the camera down here for a second. I'll make sure I aim at the fuel filter for you. Alright, gotta clamp one on here. To pinch the fuel on a little bit too tight, we'll loosen it up here a little bit. Like this. It's one. You take another. Clamp this one. A little looser. Clamp that down like that. Actually no, a little bit tighter. You don't want any gas coming out everywhere. There's that thing like this. You gotta pinch these little circular clamp things, slide this to the left that way, and this one right here to the right that way. So, put the camera over here, see if you can be able to see this happen. Get that lined up right. This one right here goes like this, you slide that that way, and this one right here goes that way. Change a little, a little more that way. Now that you got those things slid over the way that way, you gotta pop slide the hose out this little plastic thing that goes about to there. You gotta slide that out. Alright, see? I'll show you on the new fuel filter right here. There's these little plastic things that slot up inside the rubber piece but here's the new one we need to do those right now that over here so you can see what happens but you gotta have a pan an oil pan and a drain so it won't work oil pan and a funnel so it'll work or otherwise you'll get gas everywhere you don't want gas all over your tractor you don't want to make a mess so first you gotta slide this one Sometimes it's a little bit of a bitch to do. You gotta slide them out. There we go. Put this to come up underneath here. Sometimes gas shoots everywhere. That's a thing you don't want to do. It's kind of difficult, but you gotta slide them out. It's like that. There's one side. See? There's one side, and we're going to do the other side now. I'm trying to see, make it so you be able to see this beside this over here. There's another one. Alright, now we're going to do this side. There we go. that drain down into there all right now here's a new one you see how this little arrow going right there that means the fuel goes into the motor it goes that way because it comes from the fuel tank back there and goes through a fuel line and goes that way so that's how you know which way to put on the filter if you do it the other way it won't work right so then you slide this in to there like that then you slide this side in to there like that then put the clamps back where they're supposed to be like that one right there and that one right there then undo the clamps that one goes like that that one goes like that Now, it's pretty much done. Very much as simple as that. But now you gotta fire up the tractor so that all the gas and stuff goes in to make sure everything works right. Pretty simple, it's only like a two second job. So let me fire the tractor up now, pull the choke.
that's pretty much simple as that. Now the gas is back in the filter, and we're all done. Pretty simple, but so I just made this video for some people that really don't know how to do it, but it's pretty simple. And pretty much that's my video. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later, YouTube.